and it's time for newspaper review in the studios. My far left, I have uh, Anubu Kwame Abuja. He is the NDC MP for Adaklu constituency, and he's been joined by Issa Fuseni, Honorable uh, for Okankwe North. Uh, he represents the NPP. Congratulations to you. Thank you. You Thank retained you, your seat. I, I, I did by the grace of God yeah. and the, the, the grace of the good people of Okankwe North. I yeah. Am. They, 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 they thought my, my, my work over the last three and a half years has been good enough for me to continue, and I'm grateful to them. I should say a very big thank you to the delegates and to, the, to my constituents, and I, I promise to, to, to work harder than I've done before mm. to be able to take our constituency to new heights. Absolutely. Yeah. We wish you the best. But thank you. tell us what your protocols at, at you know, the various polling centers were like you know, with regards to COVID-19. In my, in my, in my constituency, there were seven polling stations because mm. we have six electoral areas. Each of the electoral areas had about a hundred um, delegates who were going to cast their votes. And then there was a seventh one created at the party office for, mm. for our council of elders, uh, council of patrons and executive and people like myself who had, mm. who had the, the, the opportunity to vote. Um, we insisted that um, at every polling station, there was a Veronica bucket before you gained access to the polling station. You had to wash your hand and sanitize your hands. Um, everybody who was going to have any business to do within the polling station had to be in a mask. Mm. And it was, it was followed to the letter because we had security men, policemen there to ensure that that, that happened. And so those protocols were actually followed to the, to the letter. Um, at the end of the process, um, the coalition center was at the party office where it was an open space. Um, so people didn't um, get too close. Um, but that, that, that I can I can sit here and say it was, it was strictly held because um, when some of us got there, we just kept reminding people to, 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 to practice the, the, the social distancing protocol. Um, we weren't there for long. Okay. Um, by the time some of us got there, at least we knew the results. And so a brief ceremony where um, the, 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 the winner was declared by the EC and then everybody moved away briefly. Mm. And so, yes, um, I think that given the situation, I think at least in my constituency, we did conduct ourselves quite a There were no incidents of any scaffolds of anything. So people in really your constituency? Didn't, yes, at least in my But of course, with the entire primaries, we do know that there were some, uh, at least two areas where there were scaffolds. I, I, I have seen, I've seen, I've seen videos to, 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 to that extent, but I am generally given the number of constituencies that, that, that actually had this, this going on. I, I think that um, we have done fairly well, mm. and um, if it's anything to go by, it, may, it means that subsequent um, events or, 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 or programs in the, in the electioneering ca campaign um, and process will, will actually be, 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 mm. be, be okay, and then uh, we right. wouldn't have to breach too many of the protocols to put ourselves in risk, at okay. risk. Let, let me bring out about Kwame Agoja in, because he says that looking at the situation, he feels that they did fairly well. Um, from your point of view, was that a good, you know, uh, primaries for you with regards to the scuffles that happened, uh, people not adhering to social distancing, especially when the winners were announced? What do you make of it? Thank you very much, Bella. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning to my very, very good friend. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, I, we thank God you, you survived. Uh, I remember how you always feel after primaries. It's a safe... Yeah. Uh, a, a ton of uh, brick have been lifted off your head. That's if you win. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Exactly. When you lose, the brick still remains. Uh, well, you start, you start <laughs> counting a lot. You know? uh, 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 good morning to your cherished mm -hmm. viewers, especially those from other group. For me, because uh, we're going to treat this as a substantive uh, topic, I would rather make a brief comment about something I noticed over the weekend mm -hmm. uh, when I was in Volta region. Uh, a massive deployment of uh, uh, forces to the eastern border of the country uh, ostensibly just to make sure that people who are uh, deemed to be Togolese don't come and register when they register. Bella, we are a country that uh, uh, have diplomatic relationships. Mm. We are a country where currently the president's own relatives hold dual citizenship and call shots in this country. We do respect dual citizenship. We do have a diplomatic mission in Togo. If Ghanaians were not in Togo, what the hell is the Ghanaian ambassador doing in Togo? This penchant to assume that every Ghanaian who lives in Togo 
is kind of a miscreant, and when he, they come to register in this country, they should be prevented and other things. It's, it's, just, it's just getting... Look, if you see the le level of deployment, you, you, you think that we are about to have a real issue with Togo. And, and I don't understand why the NPP makes this a real issue. Mm. I have family in Togo. Are you telling me that just, just on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and a few days earlier, the president and the, 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 the NPP airlifted Ghanaians from abroad. And people don't real, didn't realize that they tied in the airlifting of the people to tie in with the NPP primaries. Once we were told that these people, when they get here, they will be quarantined for 14 days. I know because I was once a, 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 an executive member of NDC in, mm. in the UK. Precisely, I was a youth organizer and a vice chairman. Okay. I know colleagues who, who are NPP executives who came on Wednesday and who voted on, on Saturday. You have of course, names, you have of evidence. Course. Of course, that but I, would, I wouldn't put it out. Yeah, exactly. So and, and so, if you are able to bring people all the way from London to come and register or come and vote in NPP, uh, meaning that they are part of the political process, why are you making people Ghanaians living in Togo look like some miscreant that you must marshal the forces of this country to prevent them from coming? I urge every Ghanaian living in Togo that nobody says that you cannot you cannot cross the border. Indeed, if our borders were really sealed. How did people come through uh, Kotoka? If you can prove that the people don't have a, a COVID, as you do everywhere, you should allow them to come and register. Okay. And I don't want anybody who is a Ghanaian living in Togo to feel he's a criminal, he can't come and participate in the political process. This must, must, must be done away with. And all those over-enthusiastic security forces who are doing this, you should know NPP can't stay in power forever. Well, they're not just doing their job. And again, if you have the right documents, I'm sure that they would allow you and maybe... If you are allowed to go under my... No, the president made it clear. Mm -hmm. Our borders are sealed. So mm -hmm. he's the only one who gives a directive. And I'm saying that this is not to be tolerated. You can't treat us in the country as if some people... Are, I mean, what is the point of... Just, and this is all being done simply because they had this idea as put forward by Dr. Baumia that a ton of people or a large number of people in voter regi uh, voters register are not Ghanaians. I have family in Togo. Mm. I have constituents who live in Togo. I am sure there are so many people who have families all over the world who are Ghanaians who can come and, uh, come and vote. And I think that the government must watch it. It's, it's becoming something that is annoying. Let me tell you, it's annoying the people of Walter Region. And the government better watch it. I, I'd rather and be I, happy. Before you I, even I, come I, in, Honorable, I, I was hoping that at least we'll back your claims by fact, especially when you're saying that there were some... NPP delegates, um, you know, that were part of the flights that came in from the UK if, and if, were allowed... To yes, step up yes. because I know, make, I know, I know, I mean, I know, I mean, make it balanced. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. I, no, well, hold it, on, honorable. Um, he, putting their name forward, yeah, unnecessarily. If I'm called upon to do that, I will do that mm -hmm. because, like I said, I was they, they are my colleagues. We all, we all, we were all, I mean, well, some of them became executives when, when I left. Those who were executives when I was there, some of them are government appointees today. Even Eugene was, uh, Eugene, our colleague, was, 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 uh, was yeah. an executive member when I was there. I don't put out information just for the sake of I'm saying that I don't have problem. When I was a, a, an executive member of you, uh, NBC in the UK, I, I came always to participate. But there was, I'm no, not blaming, there was no COVID Yes, then. I'm not blaming. The, what I'm saying is that can NPP say that those people, when they came, when they airlifted, uh, I made two allegations. Mm -hmm. That they tied the airlifting of the people to coincide with the NPP primaries so that they can get out. Uh, they can get exit because, oh, okay. because currently, no, no, that that hold on, hold on, so hold on, so hold on no, because currently, land, you currently British Airways and the, the regular flights from London are not coming in. So you need to come under special dispensation. And I'm saying that they tied the flight when Ghanaians were calling for airlifting. Honorable Okujito Ablakwa called for airlifting of Ghanaians from China and other things. They didn't mind. They only tied in close to when the primaries will happen. So okay. they came in on Wednesday and Saturday they are voting. And I'm saying that have they gone to be quarantined for 14 days? And the answer is no. Okay, I, let Anabel Bella, I will come challenge in. my colleague here to put out a name. Okay. Look, the structure that we have in our party, the Electoral College is made up of polling station executives. And these are five people who man every polling station designated across the country. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering how a polling station executive will be living in the UK and will arrive here on Wednesday and go, uh, go vote on Saturday. It is, it is, <laughs> I will be very surprised that there is a polling station agent who is a uh, polling station executive who is supposed to be here 
manning a polling station but lives in the UK and for the purposes of those elections will be on a flight under those circumstances to come here and vote for, 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 for a parliamentary candidate. Are you saying it this is, is not possible? It is next to impossible. Let him educate them. No, are, you are, you saying, are you saying that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him land, let him land, then you come in. In my constituency, mm -hmm. the electoral college is about 600. Mm -hmm. Because we have about 115 polling stations. Uh -huh. So the number did you of vote? Did you vote? Like, did you of course, vote? I voted. Did, did. Are you? Are you? You said. You said. Of course, only, I voted. Said, you said. Of only, course, I voted. Only say she but we will not. But you are not an executive. But you voted. I oh, I am not an executive, but I am a member of parliament. That's okay. why. That's why I'm saying that. Do other Mr. people vote? The, the, the other. Please, the other category. Let okay. him land the and then. Other category of people who vote. Are the constituency executives? Mm -hmm. Are the constituency council of patrons who have five votes? They may be more than five, but they have five votes. Are the constituency council of elders who have five votes and members of parliament? These are the other categories beside the polling station executives who have right to vote in these elections. Okay. How could this category of people be living in the UK? It is next to impossible. You, you don't, you what don't. It, no, what he's what trying saying to say, exactly. they participated he's and they didn't go to quarantine. They were out. Okay. What, what, what is participation in those elections? It is about voting. No, no. Especially no. under no. this convention. You see, you see, you see, you see, officials voting. participated. Did they vote? They conducted the election. people. Vote. And, and I'm wondering if somebody will be on a flight <laughs> from the UK yeah. under these circumstances to come and observe proceedings. I'll give you that. Okay. What is it? Of the, Can you of when when no, no, is I'll moving, give when, when Why don't you moving, want to give us those no, details? Because, okay, because, because, because I am telling, I am telling, I am, I, I, no, I will give, give you the name. I'll give you the name. I'll give you the name. We cannot the put, we and cannot put. And if one person that we know we can cross-check. Yes, I am challenging Kwame to it. No, no, you can tell me. I'll give you the name of the record. I am challenging Kwame to it. I'm saying that. There were flight, the people, there were MPP executives on the flight. The substantive point I made is the it. fact that there were MPP, there were MPP UK land branch executives on the flight on Wednesday who were not in quarantine, who, are, who were seen at elect, uh, around the uh, election. Okay. The Tell me that is not that correct. Uh, correct and that's challenge me. Okay. You can come in, Anna. The Fini. fact that a Ghanaian in the UK has been on a flight back to Accra. And must be under mandatory quarantine. That, 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 those are the protocols. And mm -hmm. I, I, I must, be, I, 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 as I sit here, I have no, no reason to doubt that anybody that was on the flight is under current quarantine. I have no okay. reason to doubt that. Okay. So unless Kwame here tells us that a Mr. A or Mr. B was on the flight and then he was well, seen in Okakwe not voting or no no no, or no, no, no process, I, or I never mentioned the consistency. Okay. Well, I know why. No, no, no. I, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm telling you that on live TV, uh -huh. I want you to put out a name. But he says that he's not going to put out the name. I will not. Now. If and you, so we if move you away can, from this, then. if you okay. can't put out a name, then uh -huh. you better not even argue on on, okay. on, on, on that tangent. Okay. Because we can't. Come and sit on this when, when we get to that topic, I'll show Let's you. move away okay. from this then, okay. so that we can talk about the primaries. I asked you earlier. What okay, you the, the primaries. Of, of uh, the primaries. Now it is being. I sat here and said that all the choreography of the president towards easing the restriction were aimed at Saturday and beyond. Mm -hmm. You notice, for instance, My that uh, the first time they put it on in the restriction when they eased it, they said people of twenty five. Uh, in a group can meet. Mm -hmm. People were expecting that. In fact, one of the predictions uh, the journalist uh, made when he was arrested, uh, what, what do you call it? The other one uh, who does comical things, uh, who was invited for accurately predicting. He predicted. Um, is it Kofi? Yeah, yeah. Kofi he predicted yeah. that the, the, the easing will the increase the numbers to, to uh, 50. 50. Yes. But the president deliberately increased it to num uh, uh, 100. Do you know why? You're saying deliberately? Yes, because. They know that during their primaries, the electoral area grouping that he's just confirmed would have been 100, 100, 100. No. So, no, 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 too many things that are out of the ordinary. On uh, during primaries, people fight to get votes and other things. When I say fight, not I'm not talking about <laughs> physical yeah. fight. Okay. People struggle to get votes, so I don't see anything wrong with that. Mm. What I didn't see, in terms of the uh, strict enforcement of COVID disease, on the streets of Ho, I've, I've got videos of security personnel mm -hmm. in the quest of 
enforcing social distancing and wearing of masks. And people ask, is wearing of masks mandatory? Yes, it's a law. Mm -hmm. Currently, it's, it's a law. A law you, yes. you, it, it might not be passed in parliament, but it's a law. You must wear it. Mm -hmm. And streets of Accra, I've seen people being asked to sweep places in strict restriction. What I didn't see is the same security people at the primaries where MPP was holding, mm -hmm. enforcing that. They forgot to see that, to realize that instead of people wearing masks, they saw people carrying fridges and, and TVs on their head and the security pe uh, personnel. We didn't see any incident. Isn't it uh, quite interesting? You're saying this afterward, the winners were declared? No, not only that. Even, even, in fact, even before they started, mm -hmm. we saw people carrying fridges, not wearing masks, people carrying TV, <laughs> coming out of... Uh, <laughs> for, forcing to get in this. And, and, and the security forces were there. there. No, Ching. and I'm saying that I don't know whether they were off duty on Saturday mm -hmm. because the way they behave in, uh, on the streets of Ho, in the streets of Accra, you would have known that they would know that people... Are, are going to be tempted to misbehave during the primaries. But guess what? They were not seen. At least the ones who were har harassing people on the street were not seen. Okay. Secondly, Mr. Kwame Buja, if you can just pull your nose mask Okay, up. yes. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very and much. Just pin it onto your nose. Maybe that way it will yes, stay yes, in yes. place. Thank you very much. <laughs> the, the second thing I saw is I pity President Kufo. Why? All the commentaries that I've, I've, I've uh, listened to and watched, it's as if it was a fight between... President Kufuor and President Akufuado. You will see even some analysts say that 99% of the people who won are people who are allied to uh, President Akufuado. So if wow. you are an MP, if you are a minister and the president likes you, you will go unopposed. Hmm? First of all, that's the first line, okay. unopposed. If they are not very sure of you, then you should have been, they call the, the, the you should have been rebranded President Akufuado. In fact, I was telling my colleague that I saw a journalist say that he was President Akufuado, uh, uh, President Akufuo. What are you, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm saying that <laughs> so, a, a particular. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't no, like I'm this. Saying, I'm saying, I, no, no, no. Let, let, let him land. I, I just want him. I just okay. want him to be factual. I'm saying that. I don't want him. I'm saying that. Land, I don't want him to go fishing. Hold on. I want him to be factual. But I'm this is that something that he has noticed. I'm saying that. No, no, no. He, no, no. Not things he had noticed. Hold on. Hold on. Let him see. He's making a statement. So about me, yes, I am him. saying that. So I'm saying that to go fishing. I'm and saying that. All I'm saying is that he shouldn't go fishing. No problem. He should no problem. stay Fusemi. with us. When it comes to your turn, then you can Fusemi. also rebut. Fusemi. No, you see, so let him he will say something. These are things, and then I have to rebut. Uh -huh. But I want him. I just want to warn him. Okay. <laughs> Not go fishing. Remain with us here. Okay. And be okay. And don't go about what one journalist's observation is. Or no, no. But that is that is. I'm saying that. Okay. It was many networks reported that 99% oh, of the people who won mm -hmm. are Akufuado. Are people associated with Akufuado? And I even heard some uh, uh, on oh, a network they saying that you were President Kufuado follower, what but you've been rebranded. That's what I'm saying. I was surprised. But does but it really matter? No, it's but the same party. Yes, but this, this, is a, this is a problem. The problem is that it's as if within an internal contest, if you belong or if you ever voted, for Alan or somebody, you are a target for President Akufuado, and ah. you must be removed at all costs. And those who survived, who were alleged to have been close to President Kufuor, were rebranded. Now I'm saying that that's not healthy for an internal uh, democracy. You might say that you were never uh, uh, a fan of uh, President Kufuor or something. I never have been a fan. Okay. Of listen, but that's, that's the thing. And secondly, okay. the, 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 the third thing I want to say is this: you see ah. this uh, this uh, uh, primary. I've heard things that, or I've seen things that, that didn't work well uh, with me. Mm -hmm. I know this about delegates. But when I take somebody like uh, Dr. Mark Asibe Ibwa, in fact, Speaker was going to give him an award for being an outstanding member of, party, uh, 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 of, of Parliament. Parliament okay. Because as a, a finance committee chairman, perhaps, apart from the constitutional legal, you probably have more deals to deal with. He's a member of the finance committee. Very diligent and worked really hard. Mm. So it is difficult for you to understand why he cannot get the backing of the president to retain his post. Okay. Rather, a government appointee, uh, Mr. Befi, mm -hmm. with probably uh, more, more resources, came and removed Mr. Asibe Ibuwa. You will say that the president didn't vote there. But it was quite obvious. What that was they obvious didn't about it? It, it, it? They didn't want him. And today, You've removed Asibe Ebwa, you've, re you've removed Opari Ansa, one of the, the seasoned 
uh, I'm not saying that seasoned people are not taken out of parliament, mm -hmm. but it is quite written everywhere that these people are not people that the president like. So he got rid of them. And I'm saying that we cannot have an MPP which is just purely a Kufuado MPP. Indeed, President Kufuado was the, the, the person who actually took ah. MPP out of the doldrums into winning ways. So okay. why, how come he's become so much of a, an outcast in the party that you must resent him and put, put, make yourself an Akufado fan to be able to, uh, to so, retain so the So would it have been fair if we had made Mr. Marcus Sibo Yeboa go unopposed? Like oh, another 65 or so? Let me so. tell you, if, 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 if how do you call it? My, my good friend, Honorable Okoboy, mm -hmm. could go unopposed. If majority leader, I mean, very much respect, I mean, it's an authority in parliament. You, you can't compare him. I mean, he's in a class of the bag beans and uh, electorates and other things. If the majority leader can insist that he's got tons of work to do in parliament, he hasn't got time to go and do primaries. How about I am, I am sure. How I am about a deputy mm -hmm. majority. I am, oh, no, hold on, hold on. I am sure. Deputy majority. No, but deputy oh, majority leader. Any. Let me tell you what Please I think. Hold on. Wait, deputy, let him deputy, land. You deputy come majority in leader says uh, case. It's a special case. Because, How special? Yes, because it's Speaker's son who is contesting uh, 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 him. So <laughs> whether the pres if the president wants her to even retain, it's now big shots having their interest. So that is why it, that, that happened. And I'm saying that okay. Makasebe Yeboa spent a lot of time in parliament doing government beer bidding. Mm -hmm. Doing this to him is it's, it's, it's like stabbing him in the back. Take Honorable Ediomi, a very fine gentleman, an engineer by training. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like unnecessary uh, bickering when the thing is a fact. I, we all defer to him. I even defer to him. He's a, he was a, a ranking member when I, I was a vice chairman of the committee. He's now a deputy minister. Mm. He's never liked and guess what? You go and pitch somebody against him to, to remove him and humiliate him. But all it, because he's not an Isn't that the fan. voice of the people? No, they, they, sponsored, they sponsored and funded people to remove them. Uh. So you are saying that there was vote buying? There's, that's what I'm saying. That, oh, but you saw, you saw them. Well, some saying, of them denied it. Well, some of them denied it. Well, you can deny it, but I'm saying that. Go yeah, and bring them, bring them, bring them, the, <laughs> bring them the, the camera. Okay. One of the, the, the other. I am saying it's that President Akufuado got his way Bella, by basically, basically making sure people he likes are well resourced okay. and gone to remove anybody. He doesn't care whether you are doing well in parliament. He doesn't care whether you are doing well in the constituency. And I am citing at least three examples. Okay. Makasibe Yeboa, Opare Ansa. And then I do me as a typical example of people Akufuado doesn't like and okay. make sure people let, are resorted to remove them. Let Honorable Fuseni come in. Are these unfounded claims by Honorable Makasibe Is I, it I really am, true am, that there was that totally, part of between I who am belongs totally, to? I totally bemused by, by the, the arguments being put out by my, my, my colleague here, um, Kwame. As to whether somebody likes somebody or not, those people that you have mentioned, yes, I, I, I have worked with all of them. Mm. And um, and they they all have one form of appointment or the other. If if you and he knows that an, an appointment like um, the, the 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 chairman of the finance committee, it's it's a very critical position mm -hmm. within yeah. within a parliamentary caucus and and, and the government at at large. And and uh, Sibe Eboa, I sit uh, on the committee and and he's an excellent. I mean, he's very close to the the the, the very top. Uh, um, 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 uh, MPs yeah, that we have, yeah. But you see, um, be, being in, in 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 parliament itself, uh, you you needed to go through some processes. The first one being within your party's nomination, and then the second one you go into the general elections and, and winning and, and in your constituency. So these are uh, processes that you have to go through. And being an MP means that um, sometimes you needed to also balance your work. I must admit, somebody like Ben Abdullah, the, the amount of time they needed ah, to spend in parliament. Can you imagine? Somebody like Isibe Yeboah, I mm. tell you, um, Isibe Yeboah comes to parliament very early and he's probably one of the last to person to leave leave at the very, I mean, mm. <laughs> in, in occasions that you've gone to parliament, like this guy was always there and you knew he was going to be there. Could that have reflected in how people couldn't vote for him because he spent more is, time in you parliament? See, than on the ground. That is that. It's, 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 I think. I think that. I think that. I think that all of that. All of that is a systematic thing. That 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 we need to to to, to perfect over time. And um, in other jurisdictions, they have found ways to balance this, where maybe because of certain um, positions or rules played by certain MPs when it comes to um, contesting primaries, they're given some um, um, waivers and all of that. Mm -hmm. I, th I think that it's it's something. It's it's a process. I, I, I can't sit here and say that I'm not uh, having Mr. Um, Beyaboa 
but having a parry and son, Jomi, like you mentioned, Abdallah in the next parliament. It's it's virtually um um um, 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 um it scares me actually yeah, yeah. as as a first time MP for, for what I for, for what what I know those people represent, especially for my caucus in parliament. But then again, we, we have agreed to how these processes happen. At least for now, that you have to go through these processes and, and, and put yourself up. Maybe this is also going to be an awakening call mm -hmm. for, for us as a as political, not just us, because on his side, you're having a, 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 a seasoned guy like Jelly Trenor coming. In fact, not too long ago, he, 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 was, he was all over the place about uh, um, MPs not being in, interested in the legislative aspect of it. But you see, somebody like Jelly Trenor was a seasoned sure. and a total legislator when mm -hmm. it came to actually putting out the, the, law, the making bills, the law. Yeah. making the laws, okay. one of the very important functions sure. of a member of a, a member of a parliament. He is he is in the class of being invited to even other committees that he doesn't belong to sure. when it comes to that just because okay. we wanted his input and we will miss him in the next parliament. No two ways about that. That happened on their side. Mm -hmm. On our side, maybe because of our numbers. There are only hundred and six of them, but there are hundred and sixty nine of us. So the numbers also will kinda reflect on, on the, the total outcome. Um, it's 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 not what we have, would have hoped for, but then again, um, as members of parliament, we represent the people in our constituencies, okay. and their voices are crucial. Uh, for me, for me, I think that what happened on Saturday probably it's a wake up call, not just for the new patriotic party. I'm sure the NDC is also looking at it again. We will have to fashion and and get a, get a way to go beyond that. Every time some of these things happen. We 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 sit we and then and then we move on. Attrition rates in Parliament. From mm. when I entered Parliament, it's been one of the things that we have been we've been talking about. Um, coming in and going in other jurisdictions, people um, go to Parliament and it becomes their career. Yeah. And not too long we had Nancy Pelosi who has been in the House for thirty six years or so, mm. and then if you go to other 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 senators and all of that, they've been forty years and and, and the likes, and they come with some institutional memories, some experience, and some exposure. When you come to parliament, you see those on the front bench. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then, then I mean, those sitting in the very, uh, the, the, the senior most ones. Okay. They, 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 they come with a lot of, uh, and it, it takes a while to get yourself in there. But could this also mean, Honorable, before you come in, could this also mean that this might be a reflection, the shakeup in the parliamentaries might be a reflection of what could possibly happen um, in the 2020 elections, you looking see, at how unsatisfied Ghanaians may be with the promises made by MPs that have been. Um, you know, you, left you, you see, um, 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 the, the parliamentary elections and presidential elections are not on the same pedestal to the extent that if, as a member of parliament, um, I, I mount the, the, the platform to campaign in my constituency, I am going to tell them that I'm going to facilitate certain things. I can only facilitate because I don't have the budget to build roads or to do, but that's not job. what you, the MPs tell that is what people, people say. That is what people say that we don't tell they the don't people. They don't say I will facilitate. But, but then, they say I will then, build roads. Yes, okay. If I mount a platform and I say that, oh, the road in Niboy town is going to be built if you vote for, for me uh -huh. or for us. When I mount the platform, mostly because my presidential candidate is not there, I speak for myself, my party, my presidential candidate. Uh -huh. So it is, it is all entwined. But it is not me, the member of parliament, saying that. Because you know, every no, MPs don't have budgets uh, uh, to, 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 to do How many people know that? How many Ghanians people know that? Ghanians are now becoming over time, in over the past. Time, over time, over time. Unless we are discussing this on uh -huh. a platform like this. Uh -huh. And we have done this over and over and over again. And so some of this should be, should be getting home to people. That look, MPs on, on their own. But you see, there's a lot that MPs can also do by facilitating processes, getting even projects outside of government into their constituencies. Mm -hmm. So when MPs say, when I come, I'm going to make sure that every child in my constituency gets um, an opportunity in school or at education or all that, it is very possible because it's within our means. If I go sit down with the circuit supervisors, headmasters, head teachers, and look at quality of education, look at what is falling short, some remedial measures that we can put, it is well within my means. Okay. And so if I can come and stand on the platform and say, do during my time as member of parliament, I've been able to improve BEC results from this level to the other. I don't need so much the, the, the intervention of central government to do some of this things. Okay. I can actually ensure that the quality improves. Even teacher attendance, teacher, I mean, all of this, it's within And when you don't deliver, then the people have that, the right. Exactly. So okay. then the people have the right. So based on the promises that we make to the people, and the people assess us and they, 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 they vote us. But when it comes to major ones like... Um, 
roots and all we don't have so we is can there only some internal things. division in the party that could you know Bella, uh, play a key um, role in Bella, the 2020 Bella, elections every major political party in the world anywhere any jurisdiction have blocks so that means that but you see you see you see every major he knows so he has some he knows. when he says he that there are some people Kwame here, Kwame here today, Kwame here today is telling us, he's telling us is, and he's talking about blocks in the NPP. Uh -huh. He knows that his party itself is not... Yeah, but right now the not, NPP is, is on the chopping block. block. We're yes. asking. And that is why I'm telling you that, that every, really true? every major political right, party in the world, which block do I live every like? major political party in the world have blocks. And so that is part of politics. That's why some people have In the Labour Party, they had their Blairites, they had their... And some were protected, maybe? that. It is, you see, you see, the conditions in the constituency as, are also unique. If you come from a constituency like, I, for, for want of a better um, example, let's say Swami, and you have a majority leader in the in the, in the, in in, in uh, Mensabonsu, who is a total consummate member of parliament, who is so crucial and critical to the parliamentary caucus of the party, mm. certainly we wouldn't want any ruffling of feathers. No, Dr. Marcus, he was not a crucial member. No. Oh, he's wait, a wait, chairman wait, of the wait, National wait, Assembly. Wait, 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 wait. You resign wait. if he's contested. I don't know what you're talking about. He threatened. About. I don't, I That's don't why know what nobody contested him. It is not unique, to, it is not unique to him. But, but, so he but, did? But I'm saying that, I am saying that uh, constituencies are unique in themselves. If you come from a constituency like um, that of the uh, first um, um, deputy speaker, of course, we want uh, we want to build a caucus for the party and the interests of the party. Something, uh, uh, the the interests of the party should override our personal interests because okay. if the party's interest is pursued, right, every member of the party will get some some sort of satisfaction or some sort of. Um, 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 but does it not leave some people black, bitter black, black at this inside. point? Because, like Doctor, uh, sorry, Honorable, see, um, see, said, the, 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 some the people process, are protected the, the and process, others weren't. Oh, 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 then, no, then, 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 then again, just briefly, then again, so then, again then, then again, like I'm saying, it is a system that we are practicing. Look, okay. others, I mean, ran up to the elections. People actually came out with opinions. Some were buried. I remember. Um, Honorable Ejako, the former energy minister, he wrote mm. a, some some very long article, also giving his um, 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 his views on some of this things. Mm -hmm. He even talked to that first time MP should not be should not be contested. Okay. Because look, I've been in parliament for just over three years. A term is not even ended, but I had to go through a contest. So did all of my colleagues, right? Very 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 few were 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 were, were retained as unopposed, and okay. they are retained as unopposed if there is nobody from your constituency who has shown interest to replace you. No, then but then some of these constituencies, uh, there were people who you showed see, interest. You see, when you said protection... I mean, last minute, and, and, we're talking and, about the health last ministers. Minute, like what? Hold on. Yeah. So the health minister's uh, yeah. constituency also yeah. came up. Yeah. Last minute was when... But I'm saying that sometimes... Uh, it, the, not sometimes. I am uh -huh. saying that the interest of the party should override the interest okay. of individuals. Let so like when the then. interest of the party is there, then I, I, I think that I, yeah. I'm so... Yeah. Yeah. You see, see, you see we, <laughs> don't, we, are, we don't have a perfect system. I, and because we, don't have, we because we do not have a perfect system, there will be some fallout. Okay. And we have, so like, as a party, come in. we have to deal with it no as we go on until we perfect and look at best practices in other jurisdictions and perfect our system. Well, so well, there will be I, fallout. What do you have to say about this? So we can move on to some other... I didn't see too much happening in their primaries, which I've never seen before. Yeah. People always struggle to get votes. But the unique thing is that almost all people in cabinet who are MPs never got a contest. Mm. And people closer to the president, obvious. This is, that is where who is closer to the president? You, know, like, you, know, you see, when you make a statement like that, how do you know in the half party who is closer to him? Oh, my brother, 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 my People believe. Would have been People believe. But what are you? What do you know? What do you know? What do you mean? What do you know? In parliament and everything, could have probably been a, 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 a government appointee in, as a, in, in a ministry. Oparian sir had listen, always gone through listen, a contest. Listen, listen. Oparian sir had always gone through a contest. Allow him to speak, had, 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 had come through. And all those people were people the Akufuado block doesn't like 
So they resource people to remove them. And I'm saying that people in cabinet are people the president like. So those ones, majority of them went what? Unopposed. Protected. Oh. The second and layer is that if we can't do that for you because you are not a cabinet minister, so then we will get people. The person who is contest, uh, contest should be resourced. That is exactly what they did. And I'm saying. And this is evidence based. What no, evidence do you have? Listen. What listen. evidence do you have? When you have, 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 have a situation where you? a deputy minister of Agri, first MMP, can't take it. Yeah. He knew they mm -hmm. were going to do that to him. He didn't want to disgrace himself. So he packed his papers and said, I'm not contesting. It because, is not true. Oh, what is it? Okay, there is no deputy a great minister who oh, said they were not going to come down. Do, 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 did he not doctor, lose his doctor, seat? Doctor, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring your name. The, yeah. the deputy minister in charge of crop. What is his name? You mentioned it. No, you have said that thing happened. You didn't contest. You are saying it. Because it is not true. It is not a deputy minister of Agri. They were going to resist people. It is not a deputy minister of Agri. No, because the deputy minister of Agri, I believe, also lost. He lost. He contested. Exactly. He was asked to contest and he lost. It is not a deputy minister of Agri. That's what I'm putting to you. People refused to contest because they saw the resource. The people are going to be resourced. And now you are shifted. But I'll said, let you hold on. I'll let you hold on briefly. Etanam is joining us to read some comments and then we'll, we'll come back. <laughs> Please go ahead. All right. A few messages this morning. Good morning, TV3. My candid concern is that if the MPP claim to be working, why the several changes and chairpersons in parliament for that matter? Indeed, there will be a, uh, a greater change come December 7 for JM from Victor Rapture in Hope. I was shocked to see members of the MPP absolutely ignoring WHO protocols during the just ended parliamentary primaries. The falling of 40 MPs during the primaries is a clear indication that Ghanaians are not happy with the performance of this government. Chris from Ashalibuche. Bella, we have lost the fight against the COVID-19 and leadership have left our faith into our own hand. But if we don't take care, our health facilities will be overwhelmed watching the MPP a primary, I cry for Ghana. Eram Adenta New Side. Good morning, Honorable Fuseni. Interjection is quite unfortunate. He will have to be given his time to counter whatever Honorable Agboja says. Please, the panelists should respect the viewers and let us enjoy the show. Abdul Pekfam. Ibrahim Dobia from Tamale. Good morning. Now, elections are over. Congratulations to those who won and those who didn't. Better luck next time. We are one family. Let's come together and work hard to win 2020 elections. Good morning. The defeat suffered by a lot of incumbent MPs, especially those in ministerial positions, goes a long way to show how incompetent those currently in government have been. A lot more of them would have suffered the same fate if they had not been made to go unopposed. Ibrahim from Suhum. Good morning, Bella. Congratulations to all aspirants who won the primaries in the just ended MPP primaries and better luck next time to those who lost. The president should have condemned uh, the disregard of all COVID-19 protocols since he was able to sing praise for some people who were able to observe the same protocols. Does it mean some people can be punished for disregarding the protocols and others go scot-free? Those who partake in the primaries disregarded the protocols and we are all praying that the police will look for those who disregarded uh, the protocols. This is from uh, Kafi from McCarthy Hill. Let me take uh, just the last two, and then we'll go back to the panelists. Good morning, TV3. I think the MPP is no more interested in COVID-19. Look at the recent primary election. They didn't observe any social distance. Uh, and to the MPP man over there, he should give us a break. Is he telling us that our brothers and sisters living in Togo are no more Ghanaians? Greetings to Honorable James Kluche Aveji, MPK to North Volta region. I'm Eric in Zipe. Uh, the very last one, John Nilante van der Poy. Congratulations to the winners and those who've retained their seats. Better luck next time to those who lost as well. The constituents have spoken louder. That'll be it for the messages, Bella. Thank you so morning. much, Etonam. And a quick message coming in from Ghana's former High Commissioner to India, uh, Ambassador Sampi Yali. He says that the government must publish the names of Ghanaians who were airlifted into Ghana on Wednesday and where they have been quarantined. And this is in regards to <laughs> Anabu Agoja's claims that there were some people who were also airlifted but were not put under mandatory quarantine and were allowed to take part in the election process. 
as well. And so coming back to the issue, let me just quickly cross check. And it says here that Deputy Minister of Food and Agriculture, Dr. Sagri Bambang, Bambangi was also given a rude awakening with his defeat to Hajia Lariba Abudu in Wali Wali. Yes, so he did right. contest. That, 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 he no, did no, contest. No, he didn't contest. You are, you are right. Okay. I, got, I got it wrong. It was a tourism one that didn't, <laughs> didn't uh, okay. that, that run away. Okay. So you are very right. Final and, and take you, on this so that we can wrap up and move on yes. to the free SHS Well, uh, yeah, My brother said something which is uh, uh, partly correct, partly uh, we'll br br bring it on, on to us. Bella, when you opened NDC Manifesto 2016. Mm. There are uh, provisions in there that talk specifically about that road. Okay. By the time we were going for election, if I go and say that these are the set of things my party has got for that loop, and I say it, that is not to say that I am an MP promising things that I cannot do. Mm. Because don't forget, parliamentary candidates are the campaign managers of the, can the presidential candidate in the constituency. But if the thing is not written here, and you go and promise every uh, body in your constituency, Kose and, and, uh, and Koko, or Wache every morning, and you are not able to deliver it, you cannot blame your presidential candidate. That is you that. bringing it up okay. to yourself. All right, let's move away from that and talk I, about... I let's move. I, we, I don't have, we don't have much time. I, I, I just, so let's talk about... I, sorry I, I about I that. that. Let's talk about um, you know, the Ghana that, Health Service. I'm one. sorry, there's no time. This uh, is also equally important. Ghana Health Service uh, has adopted the WHO's discharge protocols. And um, that's what said that after 10 days, uh, people who had initially tested positive uh, for COVID-19 are less likely to transmit the virus. So they're less likely to be infectious. And so they are discharged. Yesterday, there was a conversation, especially about the, uh, how the discharge and recovery numbers shot up. Um, you know, all at once. And we're asking, is it safe to go by these protocols, especially when President Ekufuado had initially said, when he was addressing ECOWAS leaders, that we need to come up with tailor-made solutions that best suit our country. Are we not sending a wrong signal to people out there that all is fine and maybe there's no need to adhere to the safety pro protocols? Honorable Fuseni, I'll let you uh, touch on this. Yes, um, Bella, since the outbreak of this, um, maybe February into March, um, I think the president has shown, not I think, but I am, the president has shown leadership. And it's been um, acclaimed the world over how he personally is taking ownership of the process and manage it. Um, it was his 12th um, address. address to the nation. It's never happened in our history. And um, this is a situation where um, it's, it's, it's to a total greenfield. Nobody has had the opportunity to manage a pandemic of, of, at, at such proportions. But the president and his team have insisted over time that um, they are following the signs in the situation. They are following signs in the situation. He's insisted that they have been, we, we, we as a nation have been tracing, have been testing, have been treating, and all of that. We're following the WHO process. And over time, every time there is a new finding or a new mm -hmm. learning about this particular virus, we've had to adjust the situation. If, 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 if you follow the dates, this, this particular protocol was actually released by the WHO somewhere in May. And we have had the opportunity um, from May to now, after three, four weeks, to be able to also look at how this virus is, is, is actually behaving within this environment. And I'm not sure that we will just get up and because the WHO has said it, we will. We have Noguchi and Noguchi has also been upfront. You remember at the, at the onset of it, I heard there was some division of understanding and behavior of the virus, which mm -hmm. actually took place in Ghana. And we are, we are also not sitting aloof and just waiting for the BHO to bring protocols on, 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 on treatment. Or, but we are also doing our part. Okay. I believe that we've also gone through the processes and seen that the asymptomatic people are uh, also... And the, the behavior of such virus, when they are they they, they, they are not showing signs, mm -hmm. and they have no 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 um, 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 symptoms. Symptoms. They have no symptoms, and if WHO is saying empirical evidence that after ten to fourteen days they are they are or even if they they, they are careers and they, they are unable to transmit, then then why 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 would we still want to hold on to these people? in isolation centers and all that to get a jump pack. But is it not based on that protocol? Okay. Based on that protocol, if we have revised the protocols that we have been dealing um, in, in the country, certainly it is going to lead to the adjustment in our figures. 
then many more people would have seemed to have because they have reached a point where they are unable to even transmit even if they are carriers of the virus they will not be uh, they are most unlikely to be able to transmit then it, it, it makes sense that we, we, we adopt the protocols. Isn't that and once we adopt the protocols, our numbers will have to be adjusted. Okay, but the Ghana Medical uh, Association had come out to say that our isolation and treatment centers um, had become filled up, and so we're grappling with that. And then all of a sudden, around that same time, Ghana Health Service comes and says that we are adopting the WHO discharge protocols. Is this not in a way trying to address the lack of I, beds? I, 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 you see, you see we, we've had a unique situation in Ghana and across Africa on, on the behavior of this virus because many, 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 many people, just a fraction of those infected actually fall sick, actually show symptoms, and most of the people who have died, they have died because of underlying um, 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 conditions yeah, yeah. not directly linked to the virus. So it, is, it, is, it, 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 it makes sense to me that we will, we will adopt this process because uh, um, 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 the number of asymptomatic people that we know <laughs> forms like they more want, than, uh, yes, yeah. much, much, much more okay. than that. And so if this is the finding from WHO, and I am sure that we have verified it in a way yeah, in, in our research institutions, then why, why won't we adopt it? And once we adopt it, it will certainly lead to the, the, the movement in the, in the different categories in the, in, the, in, the, in the affected numbers. Okay. So for me, it, it makes sense that we adopt we this that. and then it will, it will reflect in the numbers. Know, Guja, so. Now, a top virologist at the KCCR says we should tread cautiously because the fact that, you know, WHO has put out these directives does not mean that we should jump on it without looking at how it best suits the environment we find ourselves in. Do you agree with that? Well, if you say virologist, I will take that more than the president because I have seen systematically, I've said that the president's management of COVID is pick and choose. And his aim is 7th December 2020 rather than you and I's life. Otherwise, in the address of the president yesterday, which a lot of people find to be needless because he didn't say anything uh, new, he should have condemned all his party people who never observed the protocol. But guess what? That is his aim. He wants this process to be out. Now, you are talking about Bella. I would encourage you and the viewers, listen to the signs. Don't drop your guard in terms of wearing your mask, mm. social distancing, and don't ever think that if they say somebody is symptomatic, and President Akufado has released him saying that uh, he's past the 14 days, he's not capable of transmitting to you. The signs never said that. They said the chances of the person transmitting is like look science is always about probability and statistics so yes if you take paracetamol in fact paracetamol can kill somebody mm. because he reacts to somebody mm. honey 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 that everybody likes sweet somebody reacts yeah. to honey so don't even think that when somebody appears in your community say that i've just been released from a quarantine center and i'm asymptomatic it means that the person is not capable of transmitting I'm, I agree. Hold on, hold on. I agree when he said that we are learning with COVID. So WHO doesn't have any history of how this thing will pan out. Otherwise, they would have been more precise. Mm -hmm. When a scientist says that there's a probability of this, it means that certain people will still be able to catch it. So this release of the 10,000 people and other things, you are right. The point is that the quarantine centers have become choked, and government is spending money, and they don't want to continue with this because what? The, the new cases are increasing. Don't forget, on the 14th of uh, a certain date, we were told we picked when we were 3,000. Mm, mm. Now we are 14,000, 10, more than 10,000 since this government told us we picked. Is it a government you can trust? No, the government, a government the, the that government, told us, yes, yes, yes. But are they not allowed to make mistakes? No, no, no. The government never came out. The government never came out to say we are A government managing a deadly situation like this is able to tell you we picked at 3,000. And we are now at 14,000. Don't trust that government. Trust only WHO. That is the point I'm but, trying to make. Okay. But WHO is the same. No, WHO, the, the president is represented WHO. The WHO never said when you are beyond the 14 days, you cannot. They said that the chances of transmission is less. But you can, WHO never told President Kufado to release the people. If you have the ability to keep the people, you should keep them. Okay. 
I'll let you touch on this briefly. My time is up. We have to go. And so you, you wanted to say something uh, with regards to the president is shown leadership again, and I, I am I am I am so certain that I'm Ghanaians are very appreciative about how he's taking over this process. Um, we've see, we we we're following what is happening in other other countries, countries that, that are very much more endowed than us, than ourselves. Um, and so I, I, I believe firmly that the president will still follow science, oh. will still go into the way of tracing, treating, and um, and, 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 uh, uh, this tracing, okay. testing, this, this, and treating. Uh, this is a privilege we'll information. Mm, okay. The, the oh. Guardian just reported that. Kwame, Kwame, you are interjecting. The Guardian is interjecting. No, no, you finish. It's a privilege oh, no, information. No, 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 okay. I, I really literally have problem. just about 10 seconds okay. to wrap up, so let him just laugh. The 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 WHO is come to tell us that this is what is happening. Why would you want to hold those open in isolation centers? So we should go by WHO standards. I am sure that it fits into the Guardian. WHO is backtracking. They came back to correct a, the misconception, and that also caused a lot of confusion. But we'll talk more about this on COVID-19 360 from 10 a.m. right here on TV3. And so don't miss that. We'll be speaking to some virologists. Dr. Bertha Ayu, uh, who is an infectious disease specialist, will also tell us more about this. But in the meantime, it's still TV3 New Day. I've been speaking to Anabo Kwame Agboja. He's the NDCMP for Adaklu constituency. And of course, Anabo Isa Fuseni just retained his seat the at name, Oak. Name is Isa. Fuseni Isa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so he retained his seat at Okakwe North and will be representing the NPP again in um, the 2020 elections. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us.